Here are some tips for living with anxiety and ectopic beats. Basically that feeling where your heart skips a beat and it feels like there's a massive thud in your chest. So the first tip, as with any symptom, is to get checked out. Ectopic beats are usually completely benign, but if you haven't been given the all clear from your doctor, then this video isn't for you. So number two, and this isn't gonna be what you wanna hear, is to accept them. The key to overcoming the fear of the ectopics is to accept them as a normal part of you. They don't mean that there's something wrong. That fear causes us to feel more stress, which in turn causes us to feel more ectopics. And they're not something that we need to get rid of because they're not dangerous. Number three is get active. Start getting used to feeling your ectopics in an active setting. This will help you to build confidence in yourself and your heart. Try to stop safety behaviors. For example, when I feel a skipped beat, I tend to cough or, <coughs> or grunt like that. Subconsciously, it's telling me that I'm doing something to fix my heart. But in reality, it's doing nothing, except causing me to focus more on my ectopics. So try not to do any behaviors like that. And finally, recognize your patterns. Once you start doing more intense forms of cardio, you'll notice that you feel less during the exercise because there's less time in between beats for an ectopic to occur. But once you stop exercising and your heart rate begins to go back to normal, that is when it can get really uncomfortable. And you may notice a sudden increase in the amount of ectopics you're having. Some days you might have barely any ectopics at all and others you might have loads. So get to know your patterns and reassure yourself that this is normal.